90%. Let's see, not right. Oh, it must be 50 50 polyester cotton. Anyways. firsts for me. You were donated to me. I don't know which one this is. I'll have to take a look in a second. Quite thin. I'll probably just do this in two strips. I will do this in two strips, I should say. Now, this is probably going to be like a comforter because it's filled so very well used. Oh yeah, you can see that easily. 
All right, well. No time like the present, I suppose. Oh, I hope this rips nice. I'm a little nervous. not working. Mm. I'm not liking that too much. Definitely possible. These sounds are crazy, right?
little story, but in October, I adopted my second cat. And I tend to only adopt animals that have behavioral issues. Usually they're feral and I'll rehabilitate. This particular one, ooh, I guess I'm shocked that hasn't happened earlier. But anyways, this particular cat didn't really have behavioral problems other than obsession with food. So that's what I'm working with her on. And my other cat has deep trauma and that's kind of, <laughs> he's a good boy. And it works for me because I can leave my back door open all day and he'll just stay on the balcony and he'll never leave. And I forgot that cats are not actually like this. <laughs> so I got the second cat, left the door open and she likes to wander. And I'm not exactly cool with it just because I don't like other cats coming to my house and pissing on my balcony. So my cats can go outside, I just don't like them to wander. The whole reason I'm telling you this story is because that's what I'm gonna use this material for is, as you all know, I'm a student and I don't have heaps of money. So I'm gonna make a baby gate. <laughs> Luckily, she is quite fat, so she's not a big jumper. She's not going to try to break free. She just wants to wander. And she works well with barriers, so theoretically this should work. If this material <laughs> will work, I don't think I can, can crochet something like that, but yeah, we'll see. Can't say I didn't try. It's that center. It's all worn through. I probably shouldn't be ripping that. I like the sounds though. I'll keep this off to the side. The lady that gave these to me asked, would you be able to use bed liners? And I said, I have no idea. <laughs> I could only find out by trying. So 
I mean, it was either going into the rubbish or let me try and possibly throw it into the rubbish or make something cool. I think that this might actually have to go and get chucked out. I don't think that this is going to help. But that sound? <laughs> I don't get to do that one very often. I really like it. So today I learned, despite trying, I'm not actually magic. <laughs> it would have been very cool if I could make a baby gate out of this stuff, but no. At least now I know the next time somebody wants to donate a mattress protector. I don't know what these are called. Mattress protector. Uh, I don't know. I had a bunch of other words in my head and I can't remember any. It's been a long day. <laughs> but I will say no the next time somebody wants to donate one to me. Sadly. What I need to do maybe is meet other creators so I can say, oh, perhaps I know somebody else that can make this into something because it could be made into something. Just not by me. Last one, guys. Ta-da! <laughs>